Hey, what's going on guys? JTM Off-Road here. Today I'm going to work on putting a locker in my rear 35. So I didn't really want to pay full price for a locker for the 35. Um, eventually I'd like to upgrade to a different axle uh, in the rear, so I'd like to get probably an 8.8, .8, but um, in the meantime, not really going to do that right away. So would like to have um, both wheels spinning in the back so I figured if I could get a locker off Craigslist really cheap um, I would go that route so I was able to find a uh, lunchbox locker uh, an Aussie locker uh, for pretty cheap so I'm gonna go that route so uh, I have a lock right up front this uh, Aussie locker is like the same sort of setup um, hopefully this will go better than the front because I don't actually have to take the carrier out of the rear on this so it should go pretty quick so this is what I've got fancy display I ordered some new springs and pins um, the guy that had it before had about I think he said 14,000 miles on it so I figured you know before I put it in might as well get that and then um, got the hardened cross shaft and everything else looks seems to be like it's in pretty good shape. There's some scratches and stuff, but I mean, nothing like some huge gouges or anything. So we'll throw it in and see how it works. Alright, so the locker did not perform as wanted. I, uh, I don't know if not measuring did something. Um, there must have been too much space in there. I don't know if the, one of the springs and pins went out or what, but I uh, drove six hours down to West Virginia, um, got out on the trail, made it through a trail with a whole bunch of banging, and um, got hung up on a couple logs, put it in reverse and started just banging unbelievably so it's it's pretty bad it was quite a I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to get out I ended, ended up eventually having someone pull me the rest of the way um, so it wasn't the best weekend of wheeling but still had a good time uh, with all the friends and meeting new people and it was good 
Um, so I I had I thought I was like, yeah, maybe I should go ahead and take these extra or these spider gears um, just in case anything happens. I'll still be able to be um, able to four wheel and just be open in, in the rear. And of course I left them here. So I went home a day early. So we're going to go ahead and tear this open and see what we can find. Hopefully the ring and pinion and carrier are all still good and even the locker, hopefully that's still good. Um, if not, we'll just put the spider gears in and chalk it up to experience. So hopefully anybody watching this will learn from my mistake. Uh, follow the directions to the T. Make sure you don't cut any corners and make sure you measure everything. So well, let's open it up and see what happens. Something's not right. Doesn't want to stay locked. Looks like there's a lot of movement in there. There should definitely be both wheels moving at the same time. Seems like it wants to come in and out. But as far as the teeth on the ring and pinion, I really see the pinion back there very well, but looks like all those look good. I don't see any visible damage to the carrier, so do that. Ooh. Seems like when I move that up and down, actually, if you look at the centering pin, um, or that cross shaft, that actually is moving back and forth in there side to side. So that can't be good. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's, like the springs or pins are broken. Alright, well, it does look like there's some metal shavings coming down and all that, so I'm going to take a guess that those cam gears inside took uh, some abuse. There were some pretty nasty, like, zzzz noises, so I could only imagine that's those gears getting grind down, ground down. All right, so checking the gap, and the gap is supposed to be 0.15 and, or wait, 0.154 and 0.170 inches wide. And I'm getting 0.193. So the gap is definitely too wide. So I don't know. It doesn't seem like doesn't seem like a huge gap, but I guess it is supposed to be within those tolerances. There's also a gap that I'm supposed to check um, between the centering pin and some spacers inside there before I even put this stuff in. So there's a chance that there's too much of a gap there too. So I tore everything apart, and the cam gears have some some damage to them. Um, when I got it from the previous owner, I forgot to look and there's actually some pits in it. Um, but I put it in and I think um, all the stress and uh, everything that was happening when the uh, locker was malfunctioning broke, uh, broke some little chips off, um, real tiny ones like in one or two spots and then there's some... Uh, some shaved edges so I'm, I'm starting over and measuring the gap um, 
So you're supposed to uh, put put a, a gear in on each side and then put the spacer in with uh, some grease on it to hold it in place. Uh, put the cross shaft in and then you're supposed to measure this gap. This gap in between. So it's supposed to be between 0 .006 and 0 .02 inches. Alright, so I guess that's probably probably where it's at. So, uh, 0 0 0.025, 0 0.015, 0 0.002, 0 0.025. So that's a good bit above what it needed to be. Well, after looking everything over and reading online, and I decided that I'm not going to reuse the locker. I think um, the tolerances that I had in there that were too wide um, ate down the worn down gears already. I think when I actually bought this, I didn't look at it in the, until I actually put it in it. There was some wear on the on the teeth. Um, what for, what I've read online is once these teeth get worn down, they can slip and pop and bang, and eventually the, you just won't have any rear wheel drive, which is exactly what happened to me over this past weekend. Um, so um, the springs can't tell if you'll be able to see this that much, but the springs are actually bent. One of them actually had a little tough time pulling out because um, it was stuck in the channel and then the wear on the centering pin there's uh, some pretty good gouges in there so I'm going to chalk this one up to experience hard lesson learned and I'm just going to throw those spider gears back in so I can get back on the road and get some more wheeling in so I don't know, unless I can find another good deal on a locker um, that actually works and I would put it in correctly this time. Um, I probably won't do anything until I do a rear axle upgrade. So, probably just going to be open in the rear end until then. What happened? These people are still making noises and I think they need to get it out of here.